Good morning, and welcome to Ark and Dove Presbyterian Church in Odenton, Maryland. I'm Brian Boudreaux, the Clerk of Session here at Ark and Dove, and your host here in the lobby. Now, I've been gone for a couple of weeks, and it's really great to be back. I want to thank Alan Maycar for hosting while I was gone. Today is Reformation Sunday. What does that mean? Well, if you remember from your history books, the 95 Theses and Martin Luther, well, we're celebrating that and the, uh, the Reformed Church. Next week is All Saints, so if you have a close family member that you lost uh, in the last year that you would like to be remembered at Ark and Dove, please email Mondi at admin at arkandove.org with their name and the relation to you. So this week we are going to catch up with Linda Lewis, but first let's dive into today's or this week's announcements. So if you haven't read the stewardship team's message in the archive, I really suggest you take a moment to, to look at that. It was uh, really powerful. Have you participated in the Campfire Chorals? Uh, join us around the campfire on the church grounds on the second Wednesday of the month for a healthy conversation over the controversies of our times. Bring a chair, a non-alcoholic beverage, some bug spray, and maybe some supplies for s'mores, uh, if you like. Uh, the intention is to social distance, and we will enjoy each other's company. Uh, this will be from 7 to 8.30 p.m., and the next one will be November 11th, where we'll discuss uh, presidential support and opposition. And then later on, uh, on December 9th, capitalism and its alternatives. So you do need to RSVP with Pastor John uh, as there is limited space. Now, beginning on uh, this week, on Tuesday, October 27th, Pastor Tim will be leading a five-week experience on ancient prayer practices. That's on Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m. via Zoom. Uh, the book will be uh, Creating a Life with God, The Call of Ancient Prayer Practices by Daniel Walpert. You can get that on Amazon.com or through heartsandmindsbooks.com. Now you have to RSVP for that one as well, so contact Pastor Tim. Uh, join Kim Champagne every Wednesday evening at 7.30 until November 25th for a discussion around Diana Butler Bass's book, Grateful. Uh, you don't have to read the book to participate, uh, but Vasa's course is in gratitude offers a different approach uh, to all the negativity, and that is something that we all need in this time. Every Wednesday at 10 a.m., Pastor John will host a fellowship and Bible study for the upcoming Sunday scriptures. There's no commitment or homework. You just need to contact Pastor John for a Zoom invite. Now, for our youth, we have our weekly godly play for grades K through 5. That's via Zoom. Uh, if you are not already participating in it and need an invitation, please uh, con contact Julie Devers for that invitation. Logos is Ark and Dove's midweek intergenerational experience for children and youth up to eighth grade. Each week we'll have a different family-centered activity to do either at home or outside of the church. There'll be crafts, games, Bible study, and opportunities for worship and mission. Uh, if you're not already on the weekly emailing list, please contact Amy Goldberg. Additionally, uh, there still is a need for volunteers. And now for some fun social events, uh, Sunday Fellowship right after the service at 1115. If you don't already have the Zoom invite, you can email fellowship at arkandove.org to get one. The crafting group meets uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays throughout the month uh, at 7 p.m. via Zoom. Amy Tardif has all the details for you on which days they're meeting. Saturday night game night with the deacons. They play code names. Uh, you can get a Zoom invite from Ellen and Greg Maycar for that. And finally, the Friendly Seniors Tea at 3 on Thursdays, hosted uh, by Pastor Tim. He's got a Zoom invite for you. So over the next couple of weeks on the lobby, we are going to take a look at Ark and Dove then and now. So the next time you are in the church, take a moment to stop by the Ark and Dove room. On the wall next to the door, there is the church charter. And among the names of the charter members of our church, you will find today's guest. Linda Lewis. So yes, Linda has been here since the beginning of the church. So thank you for joining me today, Linda. How are you and your family doing? Brian, we're doing great. It was nice seeing your uh, pictures last week of your uh, wonderful family vacation. Right oh. now our vacation is in the outside yard. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I, I will say that a lot of people had the same idea to go to the mountains to get away from people. Mm -hmm. So um, there were a lot of people still in the, in the mountains. Uh, but yes, we had a wonderful time. So I feel that of anybody at Ark and Dove, you have done a little bit of everything. You've done winter relief, vacation Bible school, you've been an elder, 
et cetera. So you've got a lot of insight. Now tell me, what first attracted you to Ark and Dove? Brian, my husband Jim and I were done with apartment living and we wanted our home. We wanted a home that was ours. Then we went to look with what became our house and there was a big banner outside on the trees that said future home of the Ark of at that time when our future home of the Presbyterian Church of Odenton. And I said, that's it. This is where we need to live. So we moved in in March of 92. And not long after that, Jim and I went to the Odenton Elementary School for a service. And if you've ever been there, or if you haven't been to church in a while, you know, the loneliest walk is that long walk until you get into the, to the church. And I was wondering, oh, are people going to judge me because I haven't been to church in a while? How, how is this church going to be? But I was like, no, I'm going. And then we got there. Nobody ever asked me. Nobody ever judged me. We've always had a passion for mission. And right there at the entrance was a basket for food donations. And I said, this is our church. This is my church. We then you know, moved from the elementary school to the building, which is now where the... Um, Kingdom Celebration is. And then in January 1996, during a snow blizzard of a couple feet, we had our first service here. So this has been an exciting ride. What was that service like, that first service in this building? There were about 10 or 11 of us. Jim and I walked from our house. So we had a music person. We had two new members join at that service. So I think I may have even been the acting clerk that day. My <laughs> one day as a clerk. Might have only been 10 or 11 of us, but the excitement of having our first service in this building was awesome. Wow. So how would, like, what keeps you coming back then to Ark and Dove? I mean, you've been doing this since the beginning. This is, I wanted a church home, and this is my church home. Um, there are so many opportunities. But the big thing is that everything is based on faith. You know, we never lose sight that we are a church. So everything is, is always points back to that. And the people here, I mean, I have made so many wonderful friendships and memories. One, one big thing, and I know that this, this is a personal note that touched our family very much was um, I was on the kitchen committee and the week of Thanksgiving, 1998, we finished it. And two days before Thanksgiving, my father-in-law died. Mm. And he was 93, he'd had a wonderful life. And we were left with, what do you do? Well, first off, we're in the emergency room and I called the church and Tim came, he just ran right over there. And then he told us what to do. I didn't know what to do. He told us what to do. Then I talked to Ray Bussey and Mike Clore, and I said, you know, we've got all these people. What do we do with them after the service? And they said, have it at, at Ark and Dove. So it was like the family, the Ark and Dove family was there. Then on Thanksgiving, up pulls Dot and Will Four Lines with a fully cooked Thanksgiving dinner for the entire family. Amazing. Amazing. You know, it's like Ark and Dove is a family. What key, what, what brought Abby and you to Ark and Dove? We drove past Ark and Dove every day to go to work. Uh, we saw it all the time. Uh, and just happened to notice at the time of the, it was, it was that time as, as church was starting. So we pulled into the parking lot and, and went in and um, weren't quite sure what to expect. Uh, but my wife had grown up Presbyterian, so it was familiar for her. And so we, we come in and, and we sit through the service and, and I still uh, remember uh, the message, um, the sermon that Pastor Tim gave and it, it, it had a, uh, a message about, uh, about violence. And we got out into the car and I, and I said to my wife, because I was nodding my head through the entire sermon, I said, um, yeah, I don't think I need to see anything else. I think this is our church Aww. and I decided to stay. Um, so how would you describe then Ark and Dove to a new person, somebody who walks in the door or these days uh, tunes in for the first time? Well, what, what I would say is 
we are open and welcoming to everyone. You don't have to have grown up in the Presbyterian Church, Presbyterian Church. You don't have to have, you know, been to church recently, or maybe you've always attended church and you're new to the area or you're trying it out. You're welcome here. I, I always think of, especially Pastor Betsy really gets me when during communion, when she says, you know, that we all are welcomed at the table, those who have been here often and those who have not been here for a while. And I think of that as our conduct. You know, we, the longest walk is the walk from the parking lot. It's when you the... don't know what you're getting, you don't know if you're going to be judged. We don't judge. To repurpose a quote from Denise Grassel that she says, talking about winter relief, is just come. We have great faith-based things. Our sermons are what keep you here. Our music, we have been blessed with the most incredible musical directors and talent uh, from our members. We have activities for every age and families. We have one, one thing that impresses me, although we didn't set out to do this, but you know, Amanda, our nursery coordinator, has a doctorate in education. I mean, we start from very, very young with our Christian education up to seniors like me. So we have godly play, we have logos, we have a, adult education uh, activities. All the different types of groups that, that you may want to get into. And they're all based with faith, but they're also very, they're open to everyone, but they're great conversations as well. Yeah. I've also noticed over the years that um, a lot of, we have a lot of people who are here for short periods of time, like you said, an overseas assignment, or you're in the military and you're moved along. So you may only be here two years. We don't have a waiting period to get involved. You're involved the first time you walk through the door. That's right. And what I love about that is uh, you can be a leader in the church and it doesn't, it, you know, you don't have to work yourself, work your way up the ladder to become a leader in the church. Mm -hmm. right? May I share a story with you? Yeah. The, um, the Bible, the Wednesday Bible study group led by Pastor John, where we go through the lectionary. This uh, week we were studying Matthew 22 was one of our studies on uh, Reformation. And I brought up that today, October 25th, is Reformation Sunday and the 28th anniversary of the chartering of Arkandaf. So with that history lesson, I actually have a couple of questions for you because you're probably one of the few people who remember some of these events that I'm going to ask you about. So are you up for a little, little trivia game? Okay. <laughs> we'll try. Do I get right. the phone a friend? <laughs> Uh, all right. Do you know? Do you know who was the first couple to be married in Ark and Dove? In this building, May of 1996, Pastor Tim McKelly. Ah, yes. Very good. <laughs> all right. So, for a long time, there were these ribbons that went up the yes. driveway. Right. Those were the ribbons of remembrance, Remember. right? We remembered our, our fallen soldiers um, in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, do you know what happened to those? Yes, the Boy Scouts, the, um, uh, very respectfully carried them up the hill and through a ce uh, ceremony, they were buried at the Peace Pole through, with a ceremony assisted by Boy Scouts. Excellent, that's right. So. Um, so if you've ever wondered where the, whatever happened to those, they're still on the grounds uh, right by the, the, uh, the cross and the, and the, and the Peace Bowl. So now in the late 90s, Ark and Dove apparently uh, obtained over $20,000 worth of kitchen equipment from a restaurant going out of business. Now, you have a lot of experience in the kitchen and you probably remember that event. Do you know how much Ark and Dove paid for that? Equipment. I was a treasure for the kitchen, thanks to Doc Forloids of Ray Bussey. We paid a dollar. A dollar. So everything you see in the kitchen, well, not everything today, but all yeah. that equipment is a dollar. So the original really cool. equipment. The original equipment. Yep. So thank you, Linda. It has been such a pleasure to be able to talk to you. I'm glad you were able to join me today. Thank you very much.
thank you for all your years of service and dedication to Ark and Dove. It's been a real pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. So as always, thank you for joining us today. Everything we've talked about for the events uh, are in the archive or uh, on the Ark and Dove web page. So if you have any announcements, uh, please send those to worship at arkandove.org with a blurb and we will include it in the announcements. So don't forget about Sunday Fellowship following the, the, uh, the live stream service at 1115. Have a great week. Don't forget to vote. Wear a mask and the live stream service will begin momentarily. <laughs>